Hey, welcome back to another episode of Ends Machines. We're continuing on the LS tractor project. And this is really interesting because we, in the last couple of videos, you saw work on the, the transmission part. You saw work on the installation of the clutch plate, the clutch disc. So we've got a lot of progress done so far, but now what I need to prepare is to get, to get the engine lifted up to a height that I can reassemble to the transmission part. So what I'm thinking about doing is using the car lift to, to raise the motor. So this is, this is what I want to show you right here. I just bought this 10 foot piece of, of metal. It's square tubing. It's um, 316 thick, made in Canada. And I put a nice show, shiny coat of uh, blue paint to match the, the lift. So come over here, I'll show you what the idea is here. I'm thinking I'm gonna take this, this piece of tubing and I'm gonna rest it right on here. I'm gonna rest it right here on my lid. And I, I created the dimension where it's going to bottom out right against this and rest up against this and it's going to go across and it's going to come and rest on this opposite side right here and it's going to bottom out on this so that means my beam isn't going to be able to to slide uh, side to side the idea is we're going to set the beam in place there and then i just use the 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 controls to raise and and lower the the lift and that will be, you know, the beam will, will then raise and lower um, with, with the rest. So that's the idea. I guess then you're thinking, okay, so the beam, the beam is going up and down. Um, I had to size the beam accordingly because um, I, I don't, I want minimal deflection or minimal bending of the beam. So. That six by six square tubing is good for about 4,000 pounds. So plenty strong enough to raise the motor for the tractor and maybe any other future product or uh, projects. So now we need to discuss how do I get the chains or the straps attached to the beam and I'll show you. Okay, so the next step is this. So I have a seven inch by seven inch square tubing cut at six inches. And what this is gonna do, this goes over top of the beam like this. And there's gonna be a hook right here. So if I want to, if I want to use the lift with the beam to, to lift anything, I can move or slide the the collar or the hook anywhere along the length of the beam. That way it gives me the ability to, to move it around. Second of all, I'm not modifying the, the beam itself. So I'm not drilling into it or welding onto it, which, you know, could affect the, the overall strength. So I'm preserving the strength of the beam and I'm doing all my connections on here. So the next step is I'll show you. I use, I basically recycled these pieces of angle iron from the, the, the jack that was used to attach, to move the tracker around. And I'm going to put these right here like this. Okay. I bought this swivel hook. So this will allow me to attach anything to the hook. And then in this case, I have to rotate the, the engine 90 degrees because right now it's facing in the wrong direction. So I'll raise the engine up and I can rotate the hook, therefore rotate the engine. This is going to slide in like this with the help of a pin. So this is, this is the general idea. And then I'll use a, a pin like this and you just basically slide, 
slide this pin in like this to, to lock everything in place. And this will hang down there like that. So that's the idea. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to fire up the electric welder and I'm going to weld in these angle iron brackets. And once the welding is done, I hope to get the beam and, and the collar and hook set up, set up on the lift. I'm gonna, this might be handy, I'll just use that. And then come in here with the welder and just, just zap, zap the weld there. So this is my old grandfather's welder. It's a, a Lincoln welder, AC-DC. I have my 220 plug right here, going into the panel. So this welder's probably 80 years old, if I had to imagine. I'm the third generation using this, so I think it's pretty special. So I'm going to keep it at 160 and uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Might have to adjust that as we go. admit that I think my my welding on this plate thinned out thinned out the angle iron right here at the at the end maybe it was too hot it thinned it out and I don't like that so I think I'm gonna come in here I'm just gonna see if I can get some more weld just to build build this up a bit because I, I I I want this to be strong so Right here, <clears throat> right here is where I want to build that up with maybe some, some more weld. Should have practiced on a on a piece of uh, metal before. 
because it just seems like my these two wheels turn out better than the first. So, because now I guess I'm now I'm, I'm kind of getting the habit or getting used to it. I have an easier time welding this in this direction than the other way because the other way the weld was sort of pooling and gravity was pulling it down. This way it'll, it'll basically stay where I want it to be. So again, first time you kind of learn, learn what works and what doesn't. The second time round, things look and, and go a whole lot better. Okay, so I'm gonna weld this strip in next. And now comes the difficult task, is I wanna to try to get a bead of weld right in there, so. You know what? It's just a matter of doing it. So let's do it. Spend a little bit of time grinding it, maybe cleaning it up, throw a coat of paint on this, and it'll be good to go. Let's see if I can if I can pull this. Oh. <laughs> no way. to get this in in the in the notch And then up. Okay, and then 
done from what we what we do here. Put him in the center. Wrap the pin and the hook. That goes in like that. And put the cutter pin in there, or the, the split pin, and there you go. Now we can basically hook, hook up and lift everything we need. And, see, slide it back and forth anywhere we need. Ta-da! Project, that's, that's, the, that's the whole point of this project. So, this is another way we can use, we can use this apparatus as we we just leave it on the on the leg, on the legs of the lift. Tie in your your chain or your uh, strap, and then raise and lower the lift. But for this project or for this lift, my ultimate goal is to get this sitting on or sitting in this pocket right here. So, we're, that's the plan. When we get the beam into the pocket, and then we'll, we'll attach some chains to the motor and we'll lift up the engine. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned to the next video.